Man est un campé ici devant la maison des Crosby qui, eux, attendaient à l'intérieur de voir euh, quel sera. Well, just watching the news and uh, watching the frenzy around and knowing my second door neighbor is a pretty famous guy, I would say that uh, the NHL lockout is over and uh, Sydney is soon to be a superstar for real. Sydney, you never found your way across the way. The this is yet. our day, Sydney. Oh. Your day and our day. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit more tense. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, now one o'clock here, and uh, this we'll know at five o'clock. So we still have four hours, but it's. Uh, I think they're well prepared, and uh, it's more calm than I thought. P -p perhaps we're all they're all we're all keeping it inside. Well, Dave was just trying to explain the lottery to mom oh, yeah. <laughs> and Nanny Crosby. You guys understand? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't understand it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we we'll know. We see your smile and jump on the note. Hope he's gonna cut that piece out. <laughs> well, there's not really anything to jump about no. today. Next Saturday will be a jumping day. Well, it's kind of been a long day, a lot of uh, anticipation, but uh, I'll just be happy when five o'clock comes and uh, they'll start naming off the teams, and uh, obviously then I'll have a better idea of you know what the f future might hold, but. Uh, I'm not going to look into it too much. I'm just going to enjoy it. And one, here we go, Sydney. Now, before we get to those picks, let us speak to the man uh, all the fuss is about. Sydney Crosby joins us from his home in Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia. Sydney, this must be somewhat surreal for you. Any other year, a week before the draft, you'd in all likelihood know exactly where you are going. Instead, 30 different options. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you numb? I think all of those. I think... Uh... It's been a lot of anticipation the last little while, and uh, it's definitely exciting. I mean, uh, I've been looking forward to this for, uh, for about a week now, ever since I found out uh, it was going to happen. So uh, I'm going to sit here and watch uh, like everyone else. With the hockey world holding its breath, Sidney Crosby's hour was finally at hand. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a unique moment in the history of the National Hockey League. And only one question remained unanswered. Where's he gonna go? From here, I am. Um, my bet, I hope, Montreal. My gut feeling is it's a city we're not thinking about. Middle America, St. Louis. The 30th selection in the 2005 NHL entry draft goes to. I have a feeling Tampa Bay. I don't know why, just because, it, you know, I think it's gonna be a place that nobody suspects at all. The Tampa Bay Lightning. The 27th pick, the 24th pick, the 22nd pick, the 19th overall selection in the 2005 NHL entry draft, the 14th selection, the 11th selection, and so we are down to the final 10. We can tell you the 10th overall selection in the 2005 NHL entry draft, the 7th selection, the 5th overall selection, the 3rd selection goes to... Carolina Hurricanes. Okay, and so we are down to the final two picks in the NHL lottery draft, and it is Brian Burks, Anaheim Mighty Ducks, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now we're gonna go and switch things around a little bit. We're down to the final two picks. Commissioner Gary Bettman will announce the winner, the first overall pick, first. The number one overall selection in the 2005 NHL entry draft belongs to... Pittsburgh Penguins. Thank you. 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 Ken Sawyer, you said this has the potential to be another Mario Lemieux. First of all, your, your reaction to this? Well, I'm, I'm overjoyed. Malcolm, yeah. Lemieux, Recky, hello. That's a bad. My son. It seems that the lottery machine actually had a conscience in this case because there, of the 30 teams over the last three years, there were seven of the teams that had not made the playoffs. The Pittsburgh Penguins were one of those seven franchises. And when you start looking at franchises around the National Hockey League, the Pittsburgh Penguins at this point in time would be considered very much a needy franchise in the National Hockey League. Well, the needy just got rewarded. What's it been like the last couple hours for you, I guess? It's been busy, to say the least, but uh, definitely... Uh, 
During the lottery, there's a lot of excitement and uh, a lot of nerves, but uh, it, was, it was definitely a lot of fun. Well, you know what? I'm really happy for Mario Lemieux. This is a great place for Sidney Crosby to do some tutorial work in terms of learning from the master like Mario Lemieux. Mario? Yeah. You're on a speakerphone. With, oh, okay. with some media here, so. <laughs> NHL Productions, but uh, what do you think? That's pretty good, huh? Uh, that's great news. Uh, I got about 30 calls so far. You probably won't believe it until you actually see him on the same ice, with the same jersey on, playing on the same team. You know, that's probably when it's going to really hit home that, you know, I was playing with them. But until it happens, you know, you probably won't really know how you feel. Uh, actually, I talked to uh, Sydney earlier and, uh, you know, just the fact that we have the first pick overall and that's a good opportunity to, uh, you know, to rebuild the franchise with uh, uh, a great young player like, uh, you know, uh, Sydney's. Uh, something special and uh, looking forward to, to being at camp and, and rebuild, rebuilding the team. Well, I can tell you that Craig and I are uh, nervous wrecks. Um, yeah, I know. It was... I know. It's, uh, I mean, it's very exciting. I mean, everybody's calling and, and uh, uh, very happy for, uh, for me and the franchise and everybody involved and looking forward to it. Great. All right. Thanks, Mario. Certainly a transition day in the NHL. You go in a matter of a few minutes from our, hopefully our final conversations about the lockout to right away to hockey and what was really a very exciting moment for the NHL as Sidney Crosby, the most talked about prospect, perhaps in a generation. We find out where he's likely going, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Early Friday morning, the day before the draft, the Bell Sensplex was the scene as the top prospects held a hockey clinic. Sharing the ice with the game's future stars were local kids who someday hoped to fill their skates. Pretty intense, eh? While the coaches spoke to the kids, the prospects spoke to each other about the big day. You anxious? Saturday? Pittsburgh man, he's watching. I was hoping they get second pick or something. Yeah, he likes this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. They should do like that every year, though. Yeah, I know. It was way better than just knowing where you're going already. Benoit taking your spotlight there? Huh? Benoit taking your spotlight? You are. This is an exciting time. Oh, oh yeah. Did you have fun? Great. Oh, yeah. It was good. Good clinic. It was also good for the fans, who took home some autographs. There you go, buddy. Inside or on the picture? On the picture? All right, this is the weekend. Has this all come together here for you, the fantasy? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, obviously I'm really anxious, but I don't think it's going to become a reality until I'm sitting there Saturday morning. It's still kind of, you know, you know that's kind of a dream come true, but you know, it probably won't become reality until Saturday morning. Now, have your friend Sydney here. Obviously, we know the history, Shattuck, summer camps, playing with each other, against each other. Does it help take some of the edge off, or having him around, maybe joking a little bit and, you know, relaxing? Definitely, yeah. I mean, we always, uh, you know, poke fun at each other, and you know, we're, we're roommates here, and the rooms are best. You know, we wrestle in the room and stuff. It's just, you know, it makes it a lot of fun. Now, your dad, your namesake, Jack Johnson, was drafted. Not that it was the same as you, but did you learn something from him? Has he taught you things, or maybe things that weren't said by him taught you how this is going to happen, what the NHL is all about? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely, um, you know, brought me up and made me the person I am today. Um, him and my mom. Uh, off ice, on ice, my, my father's taught me everything I know and he's really taught me in all the way I should carry myself in the way that I'm expected to be um, presented to the rest of the world. Obviously, moms and dads play a big role in, in kids' development. His dad, Jack Johnson, big for him. The next guy you're going to meet, this other prospect, Benoit Pouliot, his dad played a huge role in his development. Well, back in the net, a wraparound! Benoit Pouliot's path to the NHL has been a grueling one, filled with setbacks that might have stopped others in their skates. In May of 2002, his father Sylvain was diagnosed with leukemia. The family's only hope was a complex bone marrow transplant. But one year later, the disease returned. The OHL's Sudbury Wolves drafted Benoit in the 11th round but quickly demoted him to Junior A. Benoit struggled, but Sylvain never stopped believing in his son and his enormous potential. Your husband said he had a gift. 
mm -hmm. that he saw as a person who played hockey.